Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frederick, you know me as Keanomi, and we are back in Sweet Transit today. This game is so much fun. You have no clue. Um, last episode we started out working a little bit on Birmingham. I of course can't really focus on one thing, so we spent a lot of time in... Name, uh, Niami as well. I don't know how to pronounce that, that's such a weird name. I think it's probably some Asian city or something. Birmingham I do understand, so that's that's easier. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we actually got ourselves a little bit of a wheat production and we set up our first few bakeries to produce the the bread that we need. So this city is now producing bread, it is consuming 100 and it's producing 180. So I think I'm just gonna plop down a few more of these. And then I'm gonna tell these guys that, hey, you can actually pick up bread here. You are already doing that. Good. Good, good, good. So if you want to, you can of course do that. Depending on how much we can fit. At the moment we're kinda still unloading potatoes apparently. And it's very, very slow to unload potatoes. Interesting. Interesting. How are we doing with you? You are empty. Which means that you are leaving. Yes. Very good. So build a clay pit. This will give us brickwork, kiln and drying yards. As well as some stone roads and stone bridge. Interesting. I have no clue what those two do. So let's set up a clay pit. We have a massive clay place right here. This is probably way overkill for us, but... Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Set up a... Clay pit. Which we have here. One of you costs a lot of stone, so we actually need to work on this stone first. And... The biggest issue we're having with stone is right now that we don't actually bring enough out of here. So let's see if we can... You... Swap you out with... Better trains. So, root... Uh, cut stone... Naomi... Delivery. Yes. We want to use these instead. Anywhere else we're seeing a lot of pile up. I mean, this is kind of nightmarish. Wait, why are you holding? No, 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 no. That's that's not how we do this. This guy should not be holding up the. We need one of these to be able to have them. I mean, that's fine. I think we need to do something about this intersection. This is causing us quite a lot of grievance. Now then, let's see if we can fit one of the four away stations that we set up in the last episode here. Uh, we don't have any stone. And we can't fit it here. Maybe like that. That could work. Yeah, there's gonna be some reworks here. Looks like. That's fine. That's fine. So let's see. We wanna have... Not that, because that's really ugly. We wanna have... Something like up here. And this dude... Here we are. There we go. That's good. We delete these, send you into there, and send to there. Okay, that should help a little bit with the traffic there, I think. Uh, why can't you now reach your s destination? Tell you to go there instead. Yes, we can tell all of you to. 
find your way to somewhere else then. So you can clearly go where you need to go. Okay, a lot of issues, mainly with not enough work in Naomi. How is that possible? We have like 500 people arrested. I think we need more of the stone cutters actually. There. That should increase our stone production, I think. Yep. Produce 300 cut stone each minute. Uh, still need to build that clay pit. But now that we have enough stone, I think we should be able to get the clay pit up and running as well. And where is our next stone train? You're right here, right? Yes. Let's sh add another one of those. So we want to have as many as possible. And let's take a look at this. So what did we say here? Well, we want to have you and we want to have the roads going out from you. Straight out here. Hold on, I can just do this, right? Yeah, this this is way better. Way better. Let's do this. And then we tell this guy to be right here, right? That makes a lot more sense. Then we just take one of the these. Should probably make a blueprint out of this as well. I think this is kind of final, how we want it to be, yeah. So if we take that, we copy you and we can say... Copying it over to a spreadsheet so we can have the saved station for later. Definitely a good option if you play the game. Just have one. No, that is so annoying. It should not accept inputs after you have come back into the game. That makes no sense. Okie dokie. So let's see here. We wanted to have a station right here. Probably not you. Can I delete you? Like, please? No? There we go. And then we need some clay pits. So... Still don't have any stone. Really weird, why are we not producing stone? Oh, now you're like out of everything. Dude. Good. Why are you being so annoying? Like, what's stopping everyone up here? Oh, this guy going all the way for some reason. Not do that. You guys are not going out because so you are already hung up. I just need to send you back to Deepa. Hey, so I decided to clean this up a little bit and my income just tanked. So I had to delete a bunch of houses and now I can't really get my income up either because I have deleted a bunch of houses. So yeah, that's good. That's good. But on the other hand, we have a much better intersection now. So win, I guess. Win, win, I guess. Uh, we do need you here if we could ever get enough money for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That city is real pain for me at the moment. I'm in depth like 21,000 now. Just because this city is being an asshole. Maybe we can delete a few things from here. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but... Let's delete these. And you are... Stone guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna delete all of the housing here. Anywhere else we have housing that we don't need? Not really, huh? Delete these. Yeah. That's gonna have to do. 
Ah, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I need to build new houses as well. I just wasted a lot of money. That's not very good. That lowered our deficits a little bit. And it means that we can get more... More guys. It's a thousand for each of these, so... I always do this. I delete stuff in the, with the intention that I'm gonna get money back. And then I keep the game running. <laughs> I get nothing. Um, 4.3. Yeah, this didn't really go to plan, did it? Can we cr increase your production a little bit, maybe? We just don't have the money to... Increase this either. So these houses, like what are you missing? Potatoes mainly. But we're missing potatoes here already, so. Right, this guy we need to rearrange as well, but we don't have the money for it either. That's 23,000 to get that built. So yeah, that's gonna be a little bit. I just realized I have this intersection right here, which is worth like $23,000. That's a lot of houses. So we have no wood, seriously. Why is this happening? Like why is this one saying that it's green to go when it isn't? Is that the issue? Send to depot. I'm literally gonna lose this instantly. That is so annoying. Let's watch this money disappear for no good reason. That is so annoying. And let's see if we can get at least a few houses out of this. People are even moving out from here? Why? Because we don't have any fish. Uh, where is all of our trains that brings fish? One here. That will bring fish. And we can tell you to do... Only that. And we call you... Naomi. This will do bread. How would you go about making sure that these... Don't combine this way. I feel like I want to have a split here, but I can't play signals and the game itself doesn't seem to understand that they shouldn't occupy their own space, more or less. Okay, after many a headache, we finally made it work. Uh, we have a few intersections that's kind of messing with us a little bit. Um, mainly this mess kind of need to find a solution for. I think I want to remove part of these, so probably this one and this one, and then do four-way intersection here only. I think that might be a fairly decent way of doing it. Uh, we need this stone to get in there. That's gonna happen. Yeah, if we do this rid of all of you and all of this this intersection it's not needed we'll delete all of those probably have another one of these something like that uh, 
There we go. Uh, and then we just put one of these here instead. So... There. Hook you up to go here. Remember to pause when we're building stuff, because this game loves to screw you over for not doing that. So like that, get rid of these, bring you up to there. Yeah, I think this is going to actually help quite a bit. And then we attach you guys to here instead. No, it's more or less only this that is going to be messy, and these two. And yeah, we're kind of missing workers, both left and right here. We just don't have enough of them. I don't think there is that much I can do about it either. Anyway, now that we have a little bit of money and some option to do stuff, I guess we can set up a train station. So... You are not connected to anything just yet. Let's put down a clay pit then. Just so you can connect to something. That will allow us to have this guy take that name when it's done. Clay pit, yes. And we can use a blueprint for this. So this guy, paste that, turn it around. Something like that. You will then have... No. That's not at all what I intended. So, these, those, the, those, platforms. That should be fairly good. And let's see. So we're going to need to get people from over here. Here should one be. This will be a four-way, actually. Yes. So one of you will go right here. And we will have a three-lane one here. Don't actually have enough money for that. Let's get this onto here. There, and you guys do that, and over to wrong side. Okay, well, we have our setup. So I expanded a little bit around the coal mine. Set a four-way intersection right here and a three-way intersection right there. And then I built this so we can continue this guy further out this way if we need to. There's a lot of like mountains and stuff here. But uh, I'm guessing that we're going to want to go down to this coal potentially eventually. That could be an option. Uh, so what we need to do now is of course to set up the routes that we need. So we're going to go from here. We're going to go to there. Not for this guy, though. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a new one, and we're gonna have it go from here, and we go to there. Uh, the question is... Do I want a completely new train for this? I don't think I do. Let's get you. Have you go here instead. So one, two, three, and then back. That's probably good. Those are some workers, and then we want to have a new route that goes from... What do we need to do with this clay? Uh, when hard and dried, can be baked into used for creating bricks. Okay. And we need brickworks. Oh, so that's built somewhere else. Ooh, interesting. So 
so I clay pit is too close. So we need to build that on a completely different spot. Okay, uh, let's get a distribution center up. And I guess we can do that around here then. Let's decide how far we can go with this. So you will go there and there. Looks like we have access to those roads now. Roads connect buildings, services and facilities, allowing inhabitants to travel around settlements. Movement range is longer, really? Okay, so it doesn't actually allow them to do it here. It's just more or less four houses. I understand. And then we have some small storage here, if we needed to as well. Not really needed right now, though. Okay, so we need a brickworks. Put that here. And you need... Oh, wow. Okay. So, production multiplies if certain number of structures are adjacent. Furnace that bakes blicks, uh, clay into bricks. It requires a drying yard to operate. Dries freshly shaped clay before it can be baked in the kiln. Okay, so... Structure needs a connecting road to function. Is that your road? Yes. Ah. Interesting. So let's see. Let's get rid of you because... Oh, you actually need that. Okay. Okay. So... You guys are not the same. Is there a limit to how many I can build? No, just in amount of money. Okay, so maybe we don't really need this then. Let's delete these. Let's delete you. And let's just do a brickworks here. Looks like it can kind of build itself or what you want to call it. There. And then we want to have a road going up here. This is interesting. I have never played with this before. So let's get that station that we're going to need. So six lane station into two. And we're going to need that. That's not going to work. There we go. That works. And then we set up one of you. And I guess these over here. Requires a drying yard. Connecting road to function. You have a connecting road, don't you? Where do you need the road to connect? Oh, you can't reach that far. Gotcha. You need the road to be here. Correct? Yes. There. That's a lot of bricks. And it needs... Craftsmen? Craftsmen are experienced workers. They take pride in their work and produce advanced goods. Do I really need that or can I just use laborers? Not sure. Uh, let's have a look. So we actually have coal right here, so that's quite easy for us to, to move away. And I guess laborers will get to there from here, so how do you get craftsmen? That's something I can do here. Upgrade. Ah, I can upgrade houses. You can upgrade village hall residence and roads to better ones. All upgrades have requirements and are shown once the structure is selected in the context menu. Um, if 
I try it on you? Not sure I understand what to do with the upgrade tool there. I'm guessing I need to upgrade my buildings somehow for them to become workers somehow. All upgrades have requirements and are shown once the structure is selected in the context menu. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't know. I have no clue what we're supposed to do here. To produce bricks. Well, to produce bricks, we need to start by producing clay, right? And we are doing that. For some reason, I can't build the stone roads here. And this is the only one that actually reacts when I try to upgrade it. Is it something with, like, population? You? Or do you? No, it doesn't tell me anything. What the hell is this? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to read up a little bit on that because I cannot make that work. But I think we're gonna wrap up this episode here as well. We did do fairly well with the clay. So we're kind of delivering everything to the clay place. We are just not... It's not producing anything. And I think that's because we don't have these... Uh, these, like, craftsmen. Either that or it's a bug. I don't know, let's build some more of these then, see what's happening. Requires a drying yard. Does that mean that we don't have enough of them? Get some more roots and see if that helps. Where's the drying yard? Oh, they need to be directly connected to them, really? Is that what that means? The dry, freshly shaped clay can be baked. Now we're producing. Okay. So these are completely useless. <laughs> gotcha. So I guess there is a optimal way to do this then. So if we set up these. Consumption 2.2. That does not do anything. And if we set up another one here. Needs a road to connect. The three seems to be kind of the optimal way of doing it. Let's just see if we can maybe do this as well. It still count as connected. No, it doesn't have a road done. Okay. All right. So. I guess it all needs to look like that then. That means that this guy is able to produce. So we can continue you out this way and then we have something like that. These are gonna connect as well. Or can I even do this maybe? I delete you. Can I have you guys sit like this? That's up to production even more. Yes. Okay. So there is an even more efficient way of doing this then. I guess one of these. That guy. That, that, these two, this and this, like that, hmm, 
Hmm. I think we are now producing as much as we can. So you are getting bricks. We have produced 11 of them. You just need a road. Yeah, you can probably do this a little bit more efficient, but uh, this is the way I think I'll do it. So these alone doesn't actually do anything. They need to be directly connected to the bricks, bricks works somehow. Very much interesting. And once we have this, we can do the town hall and craft my residence. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I guess with that, we can finally wrap this up a little bit. So what are we waiting for here? Just out of workers or... Now we're just not producing very much. Okay, so in the next episode we can expand that, we can add on maybe some, some new workers, get some upgrades and so on. But in this episode we have done plenty so far. Uh, we're actually taking up a substantial part of the map now. So I have a lot of crap <laughs> that I can't build on. Kind of hope they give us a way at the end game to kind of punch through this. Maybe not like level it completely so we can build on it, but at least allow us to like make a tunnel for the trains to go through. That would be really nice. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.